Mom, I volunteer. Yes, Judy. You may proceed. Name the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Guide us and give us wisdom and knowledge in our learning today. We hope that we could learn and understand the lesson that our teacher will discuss today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, good morning, students. Good morning, Mom Cherry. Good morning, classmates. How are you today? Are you all good? Yes, ma'am, we are. So, wow, I'm very happy to hear that. Okay, before we start, of course, I want all of us to sing a song. So, this song we will gonna sing is only one sentence, which is, All in science, God matter all. So, are you ready, class? Yes, ma'am, we are ready. ready. So, so, it seems that you are ready. Let's start to sing the song. So our song goes like this. All in science that matter of 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 Okay, thank you class. Go back to your seat now. Is there anyone absent today? None, mom. Very good. Always perfect attendance. Because of that, give yourself a five claps. Thank you. So now, before we officially start our lesson, let us recall first our reminders. So, what is our first reminders? Yes, Benjamin. Sit properly. Yes, very good. What is our second reminder? Yes, Jumi. Listen to the teacher. Very good. What is our third reminder? Yes, Mary Joy. Raise a hand if you want to say something. Yes, our third reminder is all about raising a hand if you want to say something. What is our fourth reminder? Yes, Lawrence. Do not speak when somebody is talking. Very good. But how about our last reminder? Yes, Angelica. Actively participate in class discussion. Very good. So that's our reminders inside the class or during the hour discussion. So this thing, I assure you that it will enhance your critical and analytical skills. So our game is entitled of the Rebus Puzzle. Are you familiar with the Rebus Puzzle? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes. Thank you for the response. So, this Rebus Puzzle, it works like you will go in to identify or to analyze the pictures. And you will do the mathematical equation, which is the addition and the subtraction to unlock the hidden word. Is that clear, class? Yes, ma'am. So, let us have an example first before you will go in to answer the game. Or before you, you will be the one to answer the game. So here is our example on how this rebus puzzle works. So we have, what can you see in the picture? Key. key. Very good, it's a key. The mathematical equation that we use is addition. Now, the second picture is, what, can you see? what is the same second picture? Board. Lord. Very good, it's a board. Now, K plus board equals to keyboard. keyboard. Very good. It is very simple, right? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma yes, so now you will be the one to answer the Rebus puzzle for our game. Of course, this game has a prize. Who, who can guess or who, who will be the one to unlock the hidden word will have a prize, which is 
the cloud nine. Are you excited? Yes, ma'am. Okay, let's proceed. So our first puzzle that you need to answer is here. So who wants to volunteer? Yes, Benjamin. Yes, ma'am. So Bulin. Uh, minus I N I I N plus can plus oil minus I L is equal to volcano. Very good. So as promised, you will have your cloud nine because you guessed the right answer of the first puzzle. So here is your prize. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. So, next, our next game or our next puzzle you will go into answer is here. Who wants to answer? Yes, Yubi. Land minus I N plus one minus N equals lava. It is correct. Very good. It's lava. So here is your prize. Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Your third puzzle is okay. Man minus L plus Mabo minus NGO equals to who wants to answer? Yes, Mary Joy. Magma. Is it right? Very good. It's magma. So here is your prize. Congratulations. So our last puzzle, you will go into answer. So, crane mm -hmm. minus NP plus meter minus NP equals to, yes, Lorenz. Greater, ma'am. Is it greater? Yes, very good. It's greater. So, here is your prize. Congratulations! So now, of course, good job everyone. You did great in our game. For now, let us go to our lesson. So here in our lesson, we have three objectives. We have the first one is our content standards. So here in our content standard, please read. Yes, Mr. Mr. Benjamin. The learners demonstrate an understanding of volcanoes found in the Philippines. Very good, thank you. So our next objective is performance standard. Yes, Juby, can you please read? The learner shall be able to participate in activities that reduce risk and lessen effects of climate change. Very good, thank you. So our third objective is learning competencies. So our learning competencies is, yes, Miss Angelica. The learner should be able to describe the different types of volcanoes. Very good. So these objectives are all we will gonna tackle it in our lesson. However, we have only focused in this. We only have only one focus in our lesson, which is the describing the different types of volcanoes. So now, let us proceed to our first activity. Okay, our first activity in our lesson is about picture analysis. So I will be going to show you a picture or a two pictures rather that you will going to analyze. And later on, I will going to ask a 
question to all of you. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. Very good. So here are the pictures. Okay, now let's proceed to the question or the question I prepared with regards to the pictures that you are going to analyze. So our first question is, what can you say on the pictures? Yes, Yubi. The pictures are all about landforms. Very good. The pictures is all about landforms. The second question is, can you tell me where is Volcano in these two pictures? Yes, Benjamin. Mom, the left one. Okay, you have a good idea. Who wants to help Mr. Benjamin? Yes, Dupi. The volcano in this two picture is the right one because as we can see, the volcano is erupting or having sign of volcanic eruption because of the ash coming out from the crater of the volcano. Okay, very well said. Very good, Miss Dupi. So the volcano in this two picture is the is the right side or in the right part because if you will look into this two picture the only picture or the only picture that showing a sign of eruption is the right part or the right portion of these pictures because as you can see Volcano, when we have the volcano is having an eruption, of course, there is an ashes. While in this left part of the pictures, as you can see, there is no ashes that you are, that you about to see. Are we clear? So now, Mr. Benjamin, are you already know what is the volcano in this picture? Yes, ma'am. Now, I already know the difference of a mountain and a volcano. Very good. Now, let's proceed to our third question. So, our third question is, are you familiar about a volcano? Yes, Miss Mary Joy. Yes, ma'am. We are familiar. Very good. How about others? I cannot hear them. Mom, we are also familiar. Very good. So, uh, so now let's proceed to our fourth question. So our fourth question is, what are the volcanoes that you know in our country? Can you give one? Miss Angelica. Mayon volcano. Very good. Another. Yes, Miss Charmaine. Taal Volcano. Very good again. Yes, Mr. Janlai. Mount Pinatubo. Very good. Another, your the your classmates in the back, Miss Erica. Mount Arayat. Very good. All of your answer is correct. Now. I want all of you to watch a video uh, that I will go in to present you and kindly take down notes the volcano that you are about to see in the video because later on I will go in to ask you a question. Are you ready? Yes, yes ma'am. We are ready. So if you are ready, let's watch the video. <laughs> This is the Dormant Volcano in the Lujuba Province. The volcano rises to an elevation of 1,090 meters and has no recorded historic eruptions. The mountain is sacred to many pilgrims and it is believed that the forest in Maria protects the area. Mount Mukiling is indeed very mystical, but beyond that, the mountain has become a popular tourist attraction and was declared as an ASEAN Heritage Park in 2013. Mount Mukiling is a hiking paradise, complemented by a lush forest, giant trees, natural spring waters, exciting hot springs, and also a mud spring. This mountain is also beginner friendly, and the average trekking time usually takes only 6 to 7 hours. 
with the height of 2,954 meters, Mount Rocco is considered the highest mountain and volcano in the Philippines. Although there are no known historical rides, this stunning volcano located in Donau, Sur is considered still active. The trail to the mountaintop is not advisable for beginners as climbing the mountain can be challenging. It typically takes two to three days to reach the summit, depending on which of the many trails you choose, but you will be rewarded with fascinating and breathtaking views once you reach the peak. Climbing Mount Rocco is absolutely a must for all adventure hikers. Another fascinating active volcano located in the Zongolis Mountains is Mount Pinatubo. This 1,460 meters tall volcano is most notorious for its eruption in 1991, which killed over 700 people, and is considered the second largest eruption of the 20th century after the 1912 eruption of Mount Rocco in Alaska. Over the years, Mount Pinatubo has still become one of the most visited in the Philippines, with some exciting activities to do like ATV riding and whitewater rafting. The regular trek here takes around six hours, and trekking the mountain won't be difficult, just a bit rocky, but the view is spectacular. The lake is cool blue, and the mountains are very relaxing. A hike to Mount Pinatubo will definitely be an incredible experience. Taal Volcano is a very small, but a very dangerous volcano. On January 2020, thousands of people have been evacuated from the area near Taal after the volcano suddenly shot a column of ash and steam as high as 15 kilometers into the sky. The Taal Volcano, which is located in the province of the Tengiz, is only 300 meters tall, but is known as the world's smallest active volcano. Besides being famous for its size, it is also very popular for its breathtaking scenery. This is the only volcano sitting within a lake within an island. Visiting Taal Volcano is the perfect choice if you are looking for relaxing and stunning views. The Mayon Volcano, or also known as Mount Mayon, is the most active and most visited volcano in the Philippines. This 2,463 meters high volcano in the Gasby Alpine, along with its surrounding landscape, was declared a national park in 1938, which is the first in the country. Mayon Volcano is also famous for being the most perfect cone in the world. Unfortunately, since it is considered the most active in the Philippines, the summit is off limits to climbers, but there are still plenty of exciting activities to do when visiting the place. The Mayon Volcano is also extremely shy, and usually hides yourself behind thick clouds, so remember to visit early in the morning to witness the full glory of this spectacular volcano. So now, let's proceed with the question that you will go into answer with regards to the video you've been watching. So, our first question, so the first question is, what can you say on the videos? Yes, Miss Juby. The video are all about the most beautiful volcano in the Philippines. Very good. Now, can you tell me what are the volcanoes that are mentioned in the videos? Yes. Benjamin, can you give one? Um, Mark, Very good. Another. Yes, Miss Erica. Taal Volcano. Yes, very good. Yes, Miss Angelica. Mount Pinatubo. Very good. Yes, Mr. Lawrence. Mount Apo. Very good also. And lastly, yes, Mount Makiling. Very good. All of you or all did a great job when it comes in watching a video because you you remember what are the volcanoes that you've been watched in the video. Now let's proceed to our second question, which is our what our Second question is, can you describe the following volcano based on the video you've been watched? So now, yes, can you describe the first mountain or the first volcano that are mentioned in the video, which is the Mount Makili? Yes, Miss Beauty. Mount Makiling is a dormant or dormant rather volcano that has at 1,090 meters high. This volcano is one of the sacred mountain in Laguna Province. Very good. How about the second one? Mount Apo. Who wants to volunteer? Yes, Benjamin. You may proceed. Mount Apo is the highest mountain in volcanoes in the Philippines. It has a 2,954 meters high. This is also one of the active volcanoes in our country. Very good. Thank you. Next, Mount Pinatubo. Yes, Miss Angelica. Mount Pinatubo is also one of the active volcano in the Philippines. This is very notorious or dangerous volcano when it comes in eruption. Very good. That is why Mount Pinatubo is one or the second notorious volcano when it comes into eruption. Next, how about the Al Volcano? Yes, Mr. Lawrence. 
So, Taal Volcano is a very small volcano we have in our country. However, despite of that, his, despite of that, volcano, huh? despite of that, this volcano is considered the most dangerous volcano in the Philippines. It also, it also the only volcano setting in a lake within the island. Very well said. Very good. And lastly, we have Mount Mayon. Yes, Miss Erica. Mount Mayon is the most beautiful volcano in the world because it has almost perfect cone shape. It is the most active volcano in the Philippines. That is why the summit is off limits to the people. Very good answer. Thank you. It seems that you've learned a lot in the video you've been watched. And you did a very great job in watching a video. Let's give yourself a five blocks. Very good. Let's proceed to our activity. So, everyone, group yourself into five. Are you done, class? Yes, yes ma'am. Very good. However, let us recall first our guidelines in doing our activity. So, what is our first guidelines? Yes, Miss Duby. Follow the instruction accurately. Very good. How about the second guideline? Yes, Mr. Lawrence. Respect each other. Very good. How about the third guideline? Yes, Mary Joy. Be open to compromise. Very good. How about the fourth guideline? Yes, Miss Angelica. Effective communication. Very good. And lastly, our last guideline is Yes, Miss Erica. Be happy in the group you belong. So all of you or all of you already know the guidelines in doing our activity. Say yes if you are excited in our activity. Yes, ma'am. Oh yes. So now let us proceed to our activity. Oh yes. So this is the instruction in your activity that you are about to do, which is each group will be given each task to accomplish. The students will follow the guided activity. So we have here for Team Red, we have, okay, for Group 1, you will be the Team Red, which is you will go to answer or you will do this activity based on the picture you have. So I will be giving you a picture of each group and this picture for the first group, this picture you will be doing a concept map, which is this volcano is an example of composite volcano. So here is your pictures for Team Red. So for Team Blue, we have Based on the picture also, you have to describe the cinder cone volcano using volcanic diagram. Is that clear, Team Blue? Yes, ma'am. Very good. Here is your pictures. And now, let's proceed to our last group, which is the Team Green. So for Team Green, you will also this you will also going to describe the shield volcano. However, you will do this in a mind mapping. Oh, is everyone clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay, very good. Here is your activity. So you will do this activity or those activity that I give to you within five minutes only. Do you have any question or clarification regarding your activity class? None, ma'am. If not, you can now start the activity. Are you done, class? Yes, yes ma'am. So go back to your seat now. Oh, 
Okay. Now we will go into to the group presentation, wherein each group will go into pick one representative that who will be going to discuss your activity. So per group, you have only one representative to describe or to discuss the activity you do. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Very good. I am Ruby Magma and I am the representative for Team Red. This picture is for the mountain one. And we formulated the different description of this mountain one. So first, beautiful. Second, high slope. Third, the volcano. Fourth, landform. And five, coaching. Thank you, ma'am. Very good, Team Red. Let's give them a round of applause. Very good. Now, let's proceed to the group two. My name is Nerdrick Bautista. The team blue, which represents the Mount Babuyan. The, here are the description of Mount Babuyan. It first, it's active volcano, it's big crater, simple volcano, landforms, and it's near the water and semi hexagon. That's all now. Very good. Let's give them a high clubs. One, two, three, four, five. For now, let's proceed to our last group, which is the Team Green. So my name is Benjamin Nogo, the speaker for the Green Team to discuss the Mount Iraya, which is a volcano. And um Mount Iraya is an active volcano. It has also a wide shape. It is a small volcano. And it is an perfect cone. And it is a long cone. And of course, it is a beautiful volcano. So, thank you. Thank you for listening or the uh, answer of my group, which is the thing to And Very good. Because you've done a great job in doing your activity. So, you describe very well the different volcano that I assigned to you. So, because of that, let's give all of us or give each other another free class. Very well, let's proceed to the elaboration of our topic. So we have here the types of volcanoes. So this type of volcanoes, you already know it because you already done an activity regarding these types of volcanoes. So our first volcano that we will going to discuss is all about composite volcano. So composite volcanoes or other known as strato volcano. So who wants to read composite volcanoes? Yes, Miss Duby. Composite volcanoes or stratovolcanoes. Large, nearly perfect slope structures form alternate solidification of both lava and pyroclast deposits formed by mul from multiple eruptions. Very good. Thank you, Miss Duby. So this composite volcano, as what the meaning said, this composite volcano is a large volcano. They have a nearly perfect cone shape. As you can see, it almost perfect cone shape. So the best example of this composite volcano is the Mayon volcano. Or our that is that volcano is found in Albay. So as you can see, as the meaning said in strato, in strato volcano or other known as composite volcano, the lava here have a 
alternation division. So we have here the first bend and the second bend of lava. So here, as you can see, in this composite volcano, here, this is we call magma chamber. So always remember, when we say composite volcano, they are large volcano. They have a high slope and then they are nearly perfect cone shape. Okay. Next, our next type of volcano is the shield volcano. So shield volcano, yes, you may enjoy. Can you read it? Shield volcano, very big in size, formed by the accumulation of lava that oozes out from the volcano. Very good, thank you. So when you say shield volcano, they are very big in size. When we, how, when we say shield volcano, they have a very big in size. As you can see in this picture, their size is very big or wide size. They have a wide slope. That is why this volcano is, we also call it a warrior warrior shield volcano because of its lava flows that looks like a warrior shield. Okay? So always remember, when we say shield volcano, they have a very big in size. Okay? Next, we have cinder cone volcano or our last type of volcanoes. So, cinder cone volcano, when we say cinder cone volcano, yes, Mr. Lawrence. Cinder cone volcano. These are the simplest type of volcanoes. They are formed by erupting lava that falls back to the ground. Around the vent as cinders and quickly cools. Over time, these cooled cinders form a cone shape around the volcano vent. Very good, Mr. Lawrence. So this cinder cone volcano, these are the this volcano, types of volcano rather, is the most simplest types of volcano that we have. Because as you can see, in the past picture or in the past types of volcano, their lava flows is very different in this type of volcano. Because the lava is only the lava is only going to one direction. As you can see here in the pictures. So here, always remember when we say cinder cone volcano. These are volcanoes that are small, however, small but still they are beautiful because they are unique when it comes in eruption. Okay, now let us recall again the three types of volcanoes that I've been discussed to you earlier. So we have three types which is the composite volcano, shield volcano, and the cinder cone volcano. Now, do you think they are similar to one another? No, ma'am. Now, if your answer is no, what are the difference among the three types of volcano? Yes, Miss Dupe. Their shapes. Very good. Yes, Mr. Benjamin. Their size. Very good. Also, yes, Miss Erica. Their lava flow. Very good. Yes, Miss Angelica? Crater. Very good again. Yes, Miss Lawrence? Eruption. Very good. It seems that all of you got a correct answer in all the questions I presented to you or all the questions I've been asked. Sit properly and relax yourself because I prepared here a short quiz that you will going to answer. So this test is consists of two parts, which is the first part is all about pencil and paper that you will going to answer it within five minutes, and the second part is all about oral test that I will going to explain it later on. Now, bring out your ball pen. Yes. Now, raise your ball pen up. 
Very good. Put it down now. Okay. So I will be going to give you a open band and you will answer the test here. Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. This is, can you get one and pass it in your bag? your part one of your test which is the pencil and paper so here in test one in your own words describe the following and give one example of each type of volcano so the first one is cinder cone volcano the second one is strato volcano or other known as composite volcano Next, lastly, shield volcano. So here, you will go to describe each type of volcano and you will give each type an example. Is that clear, class? Yes, yes ma'am. Very good. You may start answering now. Are you done, class? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, pass your papers in front. Now, let's proceed to our part 2 of our assessment. Are you ready, class? Yes, yes ma'am, we are ready. So, if that's the case, let's proceed to our part 2 of our assessment. So, this test, it will challenge your taping skills to think faster or to respond faster to the question I will going to ask to you. All you need to do is to analyze the picture and features, it is a cinder cone volcano like for example the shape of volcano is very simple and has a big crater. Very good! Let's give him a five box. Very good! Congratulations! So as promised, I will give the prize that I said to you earlier. So here is your prize. 
Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. So, let's proceed to the second one. So, those other or those students that are not participating, of course, you can do this, my dear students. I know you are all very good when it comes in case getting and arranging those rumble words. So, now let's proceed now to our second picture. So, who wants to answer? Yes, Miss Mary Joy. What is the name of this volcano? The name of this volcano is Mount Iraya. Very good. Now, can you describe Mount Iraya? As what I see in the pictures of Mount Iraya, it has a wide slope. So, it is a type of chilled volcano because the size of volcano is like a water shield. It is very wide. Very good. Let's, let's give also a five class. So, congratulations. Here is your prize also. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. How about others? Are you still with me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, very good. Next. Our third picture is, as you can see, here. Who wants to answer this picture? Or who wants to arrange the words and describe what is this volcano? Ma'am, ma'am. Yes, Miss Angelica. The name of this volcano is Mount Mariveles. Very good. Now, can you describe it? Mount Mariveles is also a shield volcano because the space where the volcano is located is very wide and it can be seen in the very picture. Very good! It is a simple observation, but right. Congratulations! So here is your prize. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. So now, let's go or let's move on to our fourth picture. Or our second to the last pictures in the part two of our assessment. So here, what is the name of this volcano? Yes, Erica. Ma'am, it is Mount Tarimis. Very good. Can you describe it? Mount Tarinis is a high mountain that classified as a composite volcano because of the physical features of a mountain, like high slope, high peak, and the shape of the mountain is almost perfect cone but not like my volcano. Very good. You described it very well. So let's give her also a five blocks. So here is also your prize. Congratulations! So we are now about to go to the last picture of our test. And you only have, you also have one classmate who did not answer. So I will be giving this last picture to for him to answer. Is that okay with you, my dear students? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you heard your you you all heard your classmates. This last picture is all yours. So do your best and good luck. So the last picture of the volcano is of this volcano. So I will be giving you a clue. So the first clue, the name of this volcano, it sounds like Sibuk Sibuk in Pangasinan. You, you are, this Sibuk Sibuk, of course, you are going it when you are playing Asan. So, do you found out already what is the name of this volcano? Mom, wait, I'm still thinking. Go, we will wait for you. You can do it. Mom, I already know it. It is Mount 
hibuk hibuk. Yes, very good. Give your classmates a five laps. Very good. Now, can you describe this mouth hibuk? This mouth hibuk hibuk. Mouth hibuk hibuk is a mountain that has a wide slope and nearly cone shape. So it is one of the composite volcano. Also, at this beautiful volcano we have in our country. Definitely correct. Very good. Here is your prize. So, congratulations. Let's give him a round of applause. I am very happy that all of you did a great job in our discussion for today. And it seems that you understand the lesson very well because you can now describe the different types of volcano we have in our country according to their physical features. Continue learning in making progress every day and all of you will become successful someday. Congratulations again! Now, of course, before we end our class, bring out any piece of paper and pen and copy your take-home activity to be submitted in our next session. So, for now, let's go to your take-home activities. So, now, let's proceed. So, here, in your take-home activity, the direction is, the instruction is, Design your bed, or rather, design your own volcano model according to the three types of volcano you've learned. And in a short bond paper, describe the volcano you've created. And you need to follow the rubric. So here is the procedure in doing your volcanic model or volcano model. So here, so our first procedure is Create your own model of volcano. Second, use any materials that are suited to your volcano. And lastly, we have refer to the rubric for your guidance in making your output. Is that clear, everyone? Yes, ma'am. Very good. So here is the rubrics you need to follow in doing your activity. So, we have here, the first category is Volcano Model Looks Realistic and it is 15 points. Second, Resourcefulness, it also has 15 points and Creativity and Uniqueness is 10 points. Neat and presentably, Presentable is 10 points. So, for the total of 50 points. So, your volcanic model have a 50 points if you got, if you follow all the rubrics that are presented here. And when it regards to your activity, None, ma'am. Are you sure? Yes, ma'am. So, if that's the case, are you, are you already done copying your activity? Yes, ma'am. So, very good. So, fix your things and let us all stand for the closing prayer. Miss Juby, please lead the closing prayer. Yes, ma'am. Name the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, God, for this day. Thank you for the knowledge and wisdom we get from the discussion. Guide us always and bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Amen. name of the Father, Amen. the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you again everyone. Enjoy the rest of the day. Goodbye. See you. Thank, Thank you also, also ma'am. Goodbye, Goodbye. ma'am. See you, ma'am.